Hi, this is Kamal and I'm going to run you through my how I start my dialysis every day. So this as you see is the Flesenius uh, 4008S series, this is the dialysis, dialysis machine and uh, here down are the acid and the bicarbonate cans and th this is the dialyzer and the tubing from yesterday's dialysis. I reuse my dialyzer and tubing uh, about six times you know for the whole week Monday through Saturday and these are all my supplies these are all the other things that I use to start dialysis so the first thing that I do is to prepare the bicarbonate solution so I take two packets of bicarb then you need to cut these uh, packets open that what I put was sodium carbonate and now I'm going to put sodium chloride. A mixture of this in water causes the bicarb solution to form. It need to be emptied to form <coughs> almost 20 liters of bicarb solution, which is going to be used for dialysis. So that's the powder and now you need to fill this bucket up to the top with RO water. Uh, when you put this uh, RO water you need to keep mixing. So once it's full you basically strain this thing into the jug. The can which is going to be used during dialysis so that any dust and other particles that might be there in the water or in the picar powder <coughs> are filtered out. And then you basically discard you know whatever bicarb solution, whatever powder has not yet uh, <coughs> dissolved in that water. The next part is uh, basically called priming put the machine. This is the dialyzer or the artificial kidney. Can you zoom in please? Yeah. This is the dialyzer or the artificial kidney. This is the, actually the heart of the dialysis process where the actual blood gets purified. So we are using a F6 HPS which is, uh, which is a kind of a grade of this dialyzer. HPS is basically a more efficient and a more powerful dialyzer. These are the tubes that basically carry the blood to and from me to the dialyzer. This red one is the arterial end. And the blue out? one is the venous end. The red one goes into the artery and the blue one goes into the vein. Now next we take a IV set which basically takes the saline from the bottles into the tubes. And we are done with the priming. 